A leader without a competitive spirit, is weak, and easily gives up in the face of the slightest problem. A purposeless Hun, never knows when he has achieved his goal. Act naturally, not be caught in the false pride, that your position brings to you. Before embarking on war agreement, it is wise to consider all possibilities. Consider them thoroughly. Consider the consequences of your actions. Thus, you are prepared for the worst case. Chieftains must understand, that the spirit of the law, is greater than its letter. Commanders, must always have high goals, they must seek out things, that make them different, without taking refuge in the safety of the mundane. Do not underestimate the power of an enemy, no matter how great or small, to rise against you another day. Everybody has value, even if to serve as a bad example. Fear, is effective as much as magic. For what fortress, what city, in the wide extent of the Roman Empire, can hope to exist, secure and impregnable, if it is our pleasure that it should be erased from the earth? Foresight, energy, commitment to a single goal, the choice and use of Hans, and commitment to a goal worth the effort become the characteristics of an excellent commander. Get ready to hunt, when you go hunting. Take your best bow and arrow with you. Wear the best clothes for you, while chasing animals in the forest. Great commanders, never take themselves, too seriously. Huns should only enter wars, in which, they can win. I thought, that the war god had refused me a sign, but I was wrong. What better sign than an enemy, prepared to fight? If an incompetent chieftain is removed, seldom do we appoint his highest ranking subordinate to his place. If you want, your enemy to trust you in the future, keep the promises, you made during bargaining. It is unfortunate, when final decisions are made by chieftains, headquartered miles away from the front, where they can only guess at conditions and potentialities, known only to the captain of the battlefield. It takes less courage, to criticize the decisions of others, than to stand by your own. It's not that I succeed, it's that everyone else has to fail, horribly preferably in front of their parents. Leaders, should steer the Huns, never letting them remain purposeless. Never appoint an arbitrator, it is the third person, determining your destiny. Such a choice, would benefit the weak. Superficial goals, lead to superficial results. The greater your successes and victories, the more opposition your enemies will come your way, with painful and discouraging events. There, where I have passed, the grass will never grow gain. Trample the weak. Hurdle the dead. Use your enemy's weaknesses, to your advantage. On the other hand, if your enemy is too strong, retreat and act again on the day, you conquer it. We must be prepared for new tactics, to be implemented by the enemy. We should follow them closely, and evaluate the possible methods, he can apply using our intelligence. The smart leader, never asks the question, he doesn't want to hear the answer. We should rule the world, 